Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lake Mills High School. And we are here for Bulldog football playoff action here on KIOW.com. Carl Boldridge with you tonight uh, for the play-by-play. -play. I'll have Steven Brandenburg running the camera for me. So uh, looking forward to a good opening round game here in Class A between the Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears and your host school, the Lake Mills Bulldogs. Bulldogs wearing their home purple and jerseys with uh, yellow trim. Uh, Garrigan in the road whites jerseys with uh, black pants and black helmets. We're going to start things off here with the Radio Iowa Scouting Report. We'll be back with more after that is done. So here comes the Radio Iowa Scouting Report here on KIOW.com. The postseason is here with the opening round of the high school playoffs. South Central Calhoun is eyeing a deep postseason run in 1A, and Cardinal is out to snap a lengthy losing streak. That and more on the scouting report. Hello, this is Lex Swivel, a registered nurse at Hancock County Memorial Hospital. The average wait for an emergency treatment nationwide is about two hours. When you come to Hancock County Memorial Hospital's emergency room, you can expect to be evaluated within 15 minutes of your arrival. When you have an emergency, Hancock County Memorial's ER is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, ready to provide you with the quality and efficient care you need. Your health, our care, a lasting partnership. Hancock County Health System. As the high school playoffs begin, most of the teams ranked in the Radio Iowa poll have a first round bye. There are a few exceptions, including in Class 1A, where seventh ranked South Central Calhoun hosts Sioux Central. The Titans' only setback was a week 5, 32 23 loss to number three, Southeast Valley. Senior quarterback Cole Corey. Yeah, I definitely think it was a rude awakening for us to lose it. To lose our first regular season game, I think we were, had a 31 winning streak for the regular season so that was a it was definitely humbling for us and i think it helped us in practice the other ranked teams in action in class 1a sixth ranked underwood is at home against west central valley number eight emmitsburg hosts eagle grove also in 1a a lengthy streak will be on the line when cardinal labelden visits pekin lee Munts has a preview due to covid 19 issues pekin had to cancel the regular season home game against cardinal but thanks to the expanded playoffs the longtime rivals will meet at pekin seven o'clock friday night the last cardinal win in the series was 1971 and their coach Landon Miller talks about trying to change that. The first thing is just believing that we can uh, when you haven't beat you know a, a great program well coached you know great kids um, great community like Pekin first thing you start with is just the kids belief and this week they've shown a lot of energy and practice they've been excited I think we're getting over that part of it. Pekin coach Bud Blakely expects a challenge to keep the streak going. Well, one thing Cardinal does really well is spread the field and uh, make sure you're accounted for all over the place. And we have to be very disciplined, play assignment football. They've got some pretty special athletes that can hurt you in a hurry. And we have to be mindful of where they're at at all times and make sure we're, you know, doing our job. And uh, with that being said, we have to keep the football in front of us. We may have to give a little bit, but we just kind of use that bend, don't break philosophy. The winner will visit Sigourney Kidd in the second round next Friday. For the Radio Iowa Scouting Report from Fairfield, I'm Lee Munts. Dyke New Hartford coach Don Betts feels his team is playing its best football heading into the playoffs. After opening 1-2, and two, the Wolverines take a 5-2 and two record into a 1A game tonight against Jessup. If you look at our team then and you look at our team now, uh, the amount of improvement in this team has been phenomenal. Um, these kids are bought into the idea that if we just hang in there together, uh, if we just keep working, uh, we're going to get better. Class 2A tonight, Algona is at home to play Cherokee. Brian Wilson reports. Algona comes in with a record of 3-3, three and three, having missed week number 6 of the regular season. Bulldog head coach Andy Jacobson says his squad will have to be ready for the challenges that Cherokee will throw at them. Certainly they do some things that, that are challenging, and, and it's, uh, it's another great opportunity to learn, grow, and improve, and, and 
is just this time in a playoff environment. Cherokee comes in at one and three, having missed weeks four, five, and six of the regular season. Head coach Tony Gunter says his team was happy to be back on the field last week, but they're hoping for a little bit better performance this time around. You know, missing all that practice has really hurt us. Uh, we, we did manage to get to Esterville, but uh, we weren't physically or mentally prepared for that game. And as you know, they're a pretty good football team, so we paid the price. But uh, hopefully a full week of practice this week and uh, come in a little better prepared. The winner moves on to play either Esterville, Lincoln Central, or Okaboji next week in round number two. Reporting from Algona, Brian Wilson for the Scouting Report. There is one ranked team in action tonight in Class 2A. It's 10th ranked Mount Vernon playing host to Vinton Shellsburg. The rest of round one is next on the Scouting Report. Who is a Bex player with heart? Growing up on the farm, you know, you got to get stuff done. I have to get the job done there. I love the team effort in football. It really couldn't be done by just a few people. You need every single person. Bex is recognizing student athletes that are not just a star on the playing field, but a player that shows heart in school and in the ag industry. Nominate a player today. Go to brownfieldagnews.com and search player with heart. Bex, we are and will remain farmers at heart. Farmers at Heart. At Beck's, that's who we are. For over 100 years, the Beck family has lived and farmed in central Indiana. Today, we're proud to serve a dedicated community of farmers in Iowa. To us, helping farmers succeed means so much more than just being a great seed supplier. Our family of employees and dealers are committed to helping farmers seek new challenges, push boundaries, and innovate in an ever-changing industry. That's what makes Beck's different. We love what we do. We are and will remain Farmers at Heart. Class A top ranked Grundy Center will wait and watch the opening round of the playoffs. The Spartans have a bye after capping off a 7-0 regular season with a 42-0 win over number 10 Bell Plain. It was their third straight shutout and the fifth of the season. The first week of the season against Panorama was a challenge for us. They played offense, uh, spread, throw the ball, yard. Uh, and then in England, Hill Sully, we give up 14 points. And uh, just incredible effort by our kids and uh, the assistant coaches. Uh, be able to string them and shut up together. That's Grundy center coach Travis Zajac. The Spartans face the winner of tonight's game between Ogden and BCLUW. Among the ranked teams in Class A in action tonight is fifth ranked and defending champ West Hancock, which is at home against Northwest Webster. Also in Class A, Alta Aurelia is at home to take on Lamar's Galen. Ryan Thompson has a preview. Alta Aurelia has been battle tested, having played a pair of non district opponents from Class 2A, including unbeaten Central Lion George Little Rock. The Warriors also had a very strong West Hancock team in their district. Galen coach Jeremy Schindler is preparing for a multifaceted Al Aurelia offense. They got a little bit of wishbone, uh, but then they do spread it out a little bit. And uh, when you're in the wishbone, you got to stop the run. They do have a couple nice play action plays off of that. So obviously we have to be physical at the point of attack and be able to stop their running game. Al Aurelia quarterback Cade Rohr has accounted for over 900 yards and 12 touchdowns. Rohr, Preston McCoy, and Levi Sleezer have combined for nearly 1,100 rushing yards. Al Aurelia coach Chris Reinert will have to contend with Galen's big offensive line that has helped leading rusher Dylan Lehman average nearly eight and a half yards per carry. They have some big bodies up front. They're, they're running backs. Uh, run hard. Quarterback is good when he decides to throw. He will not run much, but he'll use his running backs, his fullback and his tailback, and then they uh, like to play action. Al Aurelia is four and three. Galen, two and four. For the scouting report from Storm Lake, I'm Ryan Thompson. In eight player, winners of three straight are Weavers on the road to battle Kingsley Pearson. J.J. Johnson reports. Here's what both head coaches had to say about this one, starting off with Arweva's Chris Peterson. Really a team we're pretty familiar with. In the seven years I've been here now, this will be the fifth time we've played them. So, you know, we've been in their district pretty much every year that I've been here. Played them last year to a two-score game. You know, we were very young last year. They've got a lot of returners, too. And so, you know, they're a pretty balanced team. You know, I think they've rushed for collectively about 1,400 and thrown for 800. So we know that we're going to have to be on our game in all facets. And now Jeff Olson for Kingsley Pearson. We need to take care of the football, control the field position game, and then capitalize on the opportunities when we have them uh, to make plays both offensively and then and defensively to force turnovers and, and make those, those tackles and those plays when we have the chance. To, to limit their big play opportunities. Should be a, a fun and entertaining game. Winner of this one will take on the winner of West Bend Mallard and Noel Fonda. 
For Radio Iowa Sports, I'm J.J. Johnson reporting for KDSN Radio in Denison. Also in the eight-player opening round tonight, top-ranked Don Bosco hosts Garwin GMG. It's Remsen St. Mary's at home against Gretinger Terrell Ruth and Ayrshire. Third-ranked Audubon hosts Bedford. 3A Mount Pleasant opens at home against Benton. Nathan Bleckel has a preview. Benton finished their regular season with a record of 3-4, and four, but have played one of the strongest schedules in Class 3A, falling to Williamsburg, Clear Creek, Amana, Grinnell, and Cedar Rapids Xavier. The Bobcat offense is paced by junior tailback Lawrence Wallace, who's rushed for 444 yards this season. Quarterback Colin Buke has totaled seven scores for Benton, which is tops on the team. Meanwhile, after quarantining in Week 5, Mount Pleasant is back to full health, which means the return of senior quarterback Jack Johnson and Nebraska recruit Henry Latovsky, who anchors their offensive line. Mount Pleasant head coach Sean Striegel says the return of those two and four others along the offensive line reopened the Panther playbook. There's just a lot of experience on there, and so there's hardly a call that we can't make or adjustment that we can't make that those guys don't know, and that's that's really one of the big pieces of, of why they're so strong, is that uh, mentally, they understand the game. <laughs> they're students of the game, and, and uh, we're excited to see what uh, they might do now that they've had uh, some time off to, to heal a little bit and feel good, and we'll see what they can do. For the Radio Iowa Scouting Report, I'm Nathan Blackwell. 3A ranked teams in action tonight. Sixth ranked Lewis Central hosts Creston. It's number seven West Delaware at home against Waterloo East, while number nine Ballard pays a visit to Boone. This season, Bex is recognizing student athletes who are not just a star on the playing field, but a player that shows heart in school, at work, through their community, and in the ag industry. Ellie Voy is the first female to wear a varsity jersey for the tradition-rich Wapsie Valley program and says she became interested in the sport at a young age. My brother always played football, and then I started off playing flag football with everybody else. And at the time, like, at the time there was also a girl football player at Wapsie playing junior high. And so they kind of, like, she let a pass for me all the way up, pretty much. Fairfield's Nick Casca says some of his earliest memories involve the family farm. I remember there was a picture of me on Dad's brand new tractor when I was probably three, I would say. And I remember I was wearing bibs, and it was just kind of a cool thing to get to sit on Dad's new tractor and just be around dad and be around that. Another Bex player with heart is OABCIG's Colton Knopp, who plans to own and operate his own cattle operation and interest he traces to his grandparents. My grandpa was kind of the backbone of that deal of helping us find it and helping us get it tame and trained right and teaching us how to take care of it and everything and they've just been a huge support system through the athletics and through the cattle cattle business and it's just we're grateful for them because they've done they've been over the top to help us kids out with everything. Trey Leto of Woodward Granger says his interest in farming began while helping his father with their swine operation. From a young age he's had us out there doing chores um, just completing different uh, aspects of the farm and I've grown attached to just being around hogs showing pigs, going to shows selling Every aspect of the swine world that I've grown to love. Bex, players with heart. College football's next on the Scouting Report. This is Don Heatland, physical therapist at Hancock County Health System. Are you looking for a way to rehabilitate that nagging injury? Or maybe you need to reteach your body and mind to do the things you used to do with ease. Hancock County Health System physical, occupational, and speech therapy programs are here for you. For high school athletes to retirees, HCHS will guide you in minimizing your pain and maximizing your mobility. Hancock County Health System, your health, our care, a lasting partnership. Waldorf will be out to avenge a loss to Valley City State University when the teams collide in Forest City tomorrow. The Warriors are 4-1. and one. They've won three straight since a week two 17-16 loss at Valley City State. Waldorf coach Will Finley says a key will be converting more drives into touchdowns. The Warriors scored one touchdown and settled for three Slater Gifford field goals in the opening meeting. And the other thing that we talk about a lot was field position. Their offense was start, starting you know, on average around the 40-yard line, and, and we were backed up within our own 20 or, or even less than in our own 10. And, and penalties really hurt us that game as well. Uh, those two things are stick out, but the settling for field goals, uh, we, we, we 
If we're down there, we gotta get a touchdown. Also in college football action tomorrow in the Heart of America Conference, Grandview hosts Culver Stockton. It's Clark visiting Peru State. Graceland is at home against William Penn. And in the Great Plains Athletic Conference, Morningside is on the road at Jamestown. It'll be Northwestern hosting Concordia. Dort is at home against Doan. That's all for the scouting report. For Radio Iowa Sports, I'm Todd Kim. And we are back here at Lake Mills High School. And uh, as you can hear, we've got the music in the background. Uh, the Bulldogs are off the field. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start with our pregame show here in just one minute here on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today in Buffalo Center, Lakota, Brent, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Back here at Bulldog Field here in uh, Lake Mills. And uh, we are we've got both teams off the field now with about 12 minutes to go on the game clock before the start of tonight's action. Lake Mills comes in at uh, four and three, finishing uh, second in the uh, Class A District Three. Uh, Bishop Garrigan coming in at two and five, coming out of A District Two. Lots of games going on around the state tonight. I believe 125 all told. And uh, we will have this one for you here. Uh, you can also see more games on KIOW.com. Uh, Forest City and New Hampton are doing battle in Forest City. Uh, Zarin Egazal will have the call there. And A little echo there, didn't know what I managed to do, but uh, we got it done, so there, even better. So as I was saying, uh, Zarin Exdahl with the play-by-play -play of Forest City and New Hampton uh, on the Forest City stream. Over on the West Hancock stream, it's uh, Kevin Wilson and Jay Hiscox, as usual, and uh, they've got uh, West Hancock, the defending Class A state champions, at home, and they are taking on, for the second week in a row, Manson Northwest Webster. Uh, they won that game last week, I believe, 48 to nothing. So Kevin and Jay on the West Hancock stream. Um, down in Garner tonight, Clear Lake taking on Garner Hayfield Ventura, and uh, A.J. Taylor with the play-by-play uh, -play there. And he's uh, going to take you through that game. We'll try and update scores and everything here uh, throughout the evening. And then also another uh, game for you. Uh, over on the North Iowa stream, Northwood Kensett at North Iowa, Monty Diarman uh, with the play-by-play -play there. All those games, you can find them at kiw.com slash live, and uh, just pick the uh, buttons that you want, and uh, and you can get uh, live football. We also have uh, other action. St. Ansgar uh, is in action, and that's over on our sister station's feed, 98.7 Kiss Country, so 987kisscountry.com for that. Osage also in action over there as well. Uh, so a lot of different uh, football games you can watch uh, video streamed here tonight on KIOW.com, 987kisscountry.com as well. So we'll take a break. We'll come back with more here in one minute on KIOW.com. Second in the uh, 
Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800-331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? mbtbank.bank, member FDIC. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the Color Journeys experience of single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Back here at uh, Bulldog Field, uh, we are still waiting. we got eight minutes to go before kickoff. Let's take a look at, first off, at the Lake Mills offense tonight coming out uh, uh, for the Bulldogs. We don't know who has the uh, opening uh, possession of the game, but uh, Bulldogs offense, uh, it all starts uh, with the uh, big guys up front. Uh, Caleb Bacon, uh, the left tackle, uh, wears number 55, a 6'4", 210-pound senior. Uh, next to him is Elijah Wagner, number 65, one of the guards, six uh, foot, 190 pound senior. At center is number 53, Braden Lindemann. Uh, he is a senior, 6'2", 225. Other guard is 64, Riley Kirschbaum. He's a senior at six foot, 230 pounds. Uh, the other tackle, number 75, Seth Hermanson, uh, six foot, two inch, 195 pound junior. In the backfield, running things, Bennett Berger, the junior quarterback, 6'1", 180 pounds and uh, he is having a pretty good season here. 27 to 65 for 585 yards and five touchdowns. Leading the offense uh, at uh, fullback is Casey Hansen wearing number 36, a 5'8 senior. Uh, has 170 pounds on his frame and he does the bulk of the running for the Bulldogs. Uh, 99 carries for 637 yards and seven touchdowns. Here come the Bulldogs out onto the field with the uh, uh, Lake Mills Bulldog flag as they'll run out towards the center of the field. Uh, wide receivers tonight, the X is uh, number 24, Caden Nobley, a 6'3", 180-pound junior. Uh, the Z receiver tonight is uh, number 4, Jack Raymaker, a 5'7", 145-pound senior. Other uh, wide receivers are number 33, Brady Hansen, a 5'11", 185-pound sophomore. And Dalton Thorson, a 5'11", 155-pound senior. Uh, defensively for Bishop Garrigan tonight, uh, they have... Uh, defensive ends are Sean Davis, 190-pound uh, senior, wearing number 65. And number 17, Angelo Winkle. He is a 6'8", 215-pound senior on the uh, other side of the defense. Uh, defensive tackles are number 70, Joe Marin, a 310-pound senior. And number 75, Kale Kramer, a 290-pound senior. And the nose guard, number 77, Mitch Busherfeld. And uh, he wears number 77. He has got uh, 280 pounds as a senior. Uh, linebackers. Uh, number 10, Kellen Murphy. He's a 180-pound senior. The other linebacker is Nate Bronk. Uh, sophomore, 210 pounds, wearing number 28. Defensive backs, Cal Berkey. Uh, sophomore, he wears number 9, and he's 140 pounds. Uh, also, a defensive back, sophomore, Garrett Hying, wears number 8. He's got he's 150 pounds. Uh, number 40, Isaiah Plathy, 150-pound uh, senior. And uh, the safety is senior Joey Trainer wears number 7. He's 160 pounds. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with more here from Lake Mills High School in one minute on KIOW.com. 
get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today, Buffalo Center, Lakota, Brent, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. Back here at uh, Lake Mills, they're introducing the uh, offense now for the uh, Bulldogs. Let's take a look at some of the stats here coming in offensively for Lake Mills. Uh, as we said, Bennett Berger, 585 yards passing and five touchdowns, 27 of 65. Um, Casey Hansen, 99 carries for 637 yards and seven touchdowns. Uh, Brady Hansen, the sophomore, 52 carries for 529 yards and six touchdowns. 45 carries for Bennett Berger for 13 yards. Of course, there's uh, some sacks in there uh, limiting his total, and he's got a touchdown as well. Uh, one player that's gonna hurt a little bit, uh, senior Carson Eaton uh, tore his ACL a couple of weeks ago and is not able to play tonight, so I know he's gonna be missed as a senior. Uh, great young man, and uh, I'm sure he's disappointed not being able to uh, uh, contribute uh, to, the, uh, to the team tonight, but uh, uh, we wish him good luck in his recovery. Let's take a look a little bit at some of the offensive stats for uh, Bishop Garrigan. Garrett Hying, uh, has played a uh, number of snaps at uh, quarterback for the Golden Bears, 22 of 64 for 228 yards, five interceptions. Uh, Kellen Murphy, seven of 21, 95 yards and three touchdowns. He will be the uh, uh, quarterback, I believe, for uh, the uh, Golden Bears tonight. So, And we're going to have the Lake Mills High School Chorus sing our national anthem. Lake Mills uh, High School Chorus singing the national anthem here. Now we'll get the, uh, uh, we'll keep going with some stats while we get the uh, captains lined up and figure out who's going to have the football to start the game. Um, Bishop Garrigan's uh, leading rusher, Kellen Murphy, 121 carries for 688 yards and eight touchdowns. Uh, 96 carries for Derek Kirsch, 475 yards and a touchdown. Um, 45 carries for Garrett Hying for 54 yards and no touchdowns. Leading receiver for uh, Bishop Garrigan, no real surprise here. Angela Winkle, the 6'8 senior, uh, has 10 catches for 108 yards and a touchdown. Also with touchdown uh, receptions are Austin Van Bank, or Von Bank, and Joey Trainer. Defensively, looking at the Bulldogs, they are led by uh, standout Caleb Bacon. No surprise there. 
Uh, 85 and a half total tackles, 75 solo, four tackles for loss uh, to lead the Bulldogs. Elijah Wagner also having an outstanding season uh, as well. Uh, 46 and a half tackles, including 40 solo tackles and a sack and a half and eight and a half tackles for loss. So, okay, we are going out to center of the field here. And the referee talking to him. And they'll spin around so Lake Mills will defend the south goal to start. And Garrigan has deferred their choice to the second half, which means Lake Mills will have taken the football. So the Bulldogs will start off on offense, working from south uh, to north here on this field. Yeah, we'll be ready to go with football here. We'll be back with more in one minute on KIOW.com. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800-331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.Bank, member FDIC. And back here at Lake Mills High School, we are just about ready to go. As you can see here uh, on KIOW.com, Carl Woldridge with you here uh, for the opening of the Class A playoffs here in Lake Mills. Getting ready to kick off here are the Bulldog, or rather the Golden Bears, picking up the ball and going upfield. A nice job over the 40-yard line there. Elijah Wagner. Elijah Wagner picking that up and bringing it back. Uh, kicking there was uh, number 70, Joe Marin. Not often you see a 310-pound uh, lineman uh, kicking, kicking off, but he did. And so the Bulldogs will take over first and 10 at their own 41-yard line. Okay. We're just about ready to go here, calling in the plays. Bennett Berger under center for the Bulldogs. Put the runner in motion, fake the handoff, pitch it out on the end around, coming around the other side, going down the middle, and he's gonna be tripped up going across the 45 yard line down to the 42. That was Dalton Forson. Good job there by Dalton. Good misdirection. And 17 yards on the carry there by Dalton Thorson. The Bulldogs immediately into Golden Bear territory. Burger under center. Put Thorson in motion again. The sign will pitch out the other way. Uh, looking to see who that is. Number 33. He's into the open and he's going to go all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. Brady Hansen from 40. One yards out. Brady Hansen and the Bulldogs take the lead just 27 seconds into the game. 41 yard touchdown, six to nothing. Now, uh, Lake Mills with the uh, score to make it six to nothing here and the extra point incoming. And looks like they're gonna go for two. Berger under center, put the back in motion, they flip it all the way out there, 232, Thorson, he's gonna go in for the two-point conversion. So it's eight to nothing right away here, 30 or 27 seconds into the football game, and uh, Lake Mills with the lead now, uh, eight to nothing. We'll take a break, and we'll come back with more here in just a minute on KIOW.com. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and a color journey's experience at single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. 
on campus or online. Find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Back here at Lake Mills High School, the Bulldogs set to kick off, waiting the whistle from the referee, Seth Hermanson to kick off for the Bulldogs. 6'2", 195-pound junior. Here's the run-up and the kick. Coming downfield, taking it at about the 17-yard line of the Golden Bears. Looks like number 10, Kellen Murphy. He's going to run, run out of 10 bounds, and he's going to be flagged as he gets hit out of bounds late. And uh, it looks like the 30... 334 yard line. So we'll, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be late hit out of bounds there. So that's going to be 15 yards for the uh, Golden Bears. Kind of a tough break there as he was going out of bounds. There was a whole bunch of Bulldogs in a kind of a scrum, and they all kind of went through and uh, wiped him out. Personal foul against the Bulldogs. There was three or four Bulldogs there in that pile. Just unfortunate uh, what happened there. But uh, no, no, nothing they can do about it now. Uh, the penalty will be marched off. So the Bulldogs give good field position to the Golden Bears for their first possession. Uh, Lake Mills leading 8 to nothing here with 11.27 to go in the opening quarter. Receiver splits out wide to the uh, far side of the field. Hand off to 28. And he's going to be spun back after a short gain there. The uh, that was uh, Nate Bronk one yard for a gain one of one. And the ball spotted right at Good midfield. Time. The drive was two plays and 58 yards for the Bulldogs. Next ball is going to be dropped for a loss there. Casey Hansen with a nice job there. <clears throat> with the uh, sack there. Drops him back to third and long. Make it third and 16 here for the Bulldogs. And now looks like somebody's going to be coming out because the helmet came off. Looks like Riley Kirschbaum uh, had a little problem with his helmet, but once the helmet comes off, unless there's a foul that causes it to come off, uh, for safety reasons, they have to come off of the uh, off the field and get uh, for at least one play. Now Garrigan going four wide here. Uh, Angelo Winkle out here to the near side. He's tall. Uh, snap is fumbled, and he's going to get crushed back to the 35-yard uh, line. So we're going to spot him. Bacon was there, 66. Wyatt Helming. Peyton Severson, uh, a whole bunch of Bulldogs met at the quarterback, and that is going to be uh, a loss of Fourth yardage. Don't get the ball, to Brings up fourth and 20-something, and back to punt. See who it is. Uh, the punt is low. That's going to be taken and running off to the side here. Uh, holding called there on Lake Mills and uh, Raymaker, Raymaker on the return. That was Jack Raymaker, I believe. It was, but a penalty flag came in from the back. Um, flags at about the 43-yard line. So I'm guessing the Bulldogs will go back. So oh, a legal block in the back. Not a hold, but a block in the back. And so the Bulldogs will start on their own 33-yard line. Their second drive of the football game. Ten yards to be just outside the 32, between the 32 and 33. First and ten, Bulldogs. So the Bulldogs will take over here. 
Look over to the sideline for the call. Look down at their armbands. Thorson in motion. They hand it up the middle to Casey Hansen. He's going to break out loose, and he's going to cut around a block. He's going to go down the sidelines, across the 40, down to the 30. Now he's going to cut back in, and he's going to go all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. 67 yards, Casey Hansen. Uh, one play, 67 yards. Casey Hansen, first time he touches the football, he touches pay dirt, makes it 14 to nothing. Uh, Bulldogs here in the opening quarter. Nice job of cutting outside, and then he cut back inside. And with 9.07 to play here in the first quarter, uh, the Bulldogs on the board again. And get the call. Berger will get everybody lined up now. They got the call from the coaching staff. Coach Bill Burns, veteran coach for the Bulldogs here. Snap the football. Hand it up the middle to Hanson. He's going to be stopped short. PAT run no good. But the Bulldogs score once again, make it 14 to nothing. We'll be back with more here in one minute on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today in Buffalo Center, Lakota, Britt, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Back here at uh, Lake Mills, 14 to nothing, the Bulldogs in the lead, 9.07 to go here in the first quarter. Seth Hermanson to kick things off once again here for the Bulldogs. And there's a kick downfield. It's going to be taken at about the 15-yard line. Looks like uh, Kellen Murphy again. He's going to cut back to the other direction. He's going to try and get outside. He's going to cut back inside. Nice run there. And he's going to get up to about the 34-yard line where the uh, Golden Bears will take things over. A.J. Raymaker with the stop. Finally for the Bulldogs. No score so far between New Hampton and Forest City uh, early in that game. Lake Mills cheerleaders uh, doing jumping jacks for the uh, points on the scoreboard. At the rate that the Bulldogs are scoring, they're going to be doing a lot of jumping jacks tonight. See what Bishop Gergen can do here in their second uh, possession of the football game. And hand it off up the middle, and he's still running. Nice job there. That was number nine, uh, Cal Berkey. That's a gain of eight, and now it looks like Murphy's hurt there. Um, hope he's okay. Okay, uh, they're out tending to him. Let's take a quick break, and uh, we'll come back with more here in just a moment on KIOW. Oh, well, I guess we'll keep it right here as he's up, and he looks like he's limping, limping off the field a little bit. Unfortunate for the uh, Golden Bears. He had a nice run there on first down, a gain of eight, and uh, brings up second and two. So we'll uh, keep it here. Now we've got him off, we can get things started. Clock will wind, 8.40 to go here in the opening quarter. 14 to nothing, Lake Mills in the lead. Waiting for the call in from the sidelines. 
Golden Bears in the huddle. They're sending somebody out, but uh, they're in a lot of time here after that injury. Uh, they may have to call a timeout here or they're going to get a penalty. They're trying to get up to the line, get set. Now they're going to call timeout. I figured that they probably would. Unfortunately, they just weren't quite ready for that. So uh, we will take a break now. We'll be back with more coming up in a minute on KIOW.com. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800 331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.Bank, member FDIC. Back here at uh, Lake Mills, 14 to nothing, the score here as we are waiting for the uh, uh, um, a referee to put the ball in play. Second and two, back to pass. Now he's going to come forward, and that's going to be six-yard gain there by Murphy. Uh, Riley Kirschbaum with the tackle, but uh, enough for a Golden Bear first down at the... 49 yard line. Back, three backs in the backfield here with Kellen Murphy. Kellen will put uh, man in motion, hand it off up the middle of the fullback, and nothing doing there. The Bulldogs swarmed that under. Nice job there. Looks like uh, looks like Bacon in on that amongst Elijah and Elijah Wagner as well. Winner of this game plays the winner of Nashville Plainfield and South Winnesheek next Friday. Um, if South Winnesheek wins, it would be in Calmer. If Nashville Plainfield wins, it would be uh, either here in Lake Mills or at uh, uh, Algona, depending on who wins this game. Second down, handed off up the middle again. A little more room this time. Gain of three. Derek Kirsch on the carry. Brings up third down and six. Uh, just into Bulldog territory. Clock running 6.50 to go here in the opening quarter. Receiver splits wide to the far side on third and six. Bulldogs flip it up, pitch it out. Bulldogs try and sniff it up, and they do. Who got there? We we'll look at the uh, defensive end there. 33, I think. Casey Hansen making the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Was it 33, 36? 36, Casey Hansen with the tackle. Be a loss of a yard on the play. And it brings up fourth. And six. Bulldogs in the lead, 14 to nothing here. Got to be careful. Uh, they are in punt formation. Make sure that it's not a fake as the Golden Bears are already down 14. Here's the punt. They do punt it away. Fair catch called for. And it hits one of the Golden Bears in the back of the helmet. And it looks like it's Kellen Murphy. So, spot of first touching. It'll be at the ball be placed at the 24 yard line where the Bulldogs take over first and 10 with 5.54 to go here in the opening quarter. I want to thank our great sponsors for helping make this broadcast possible tonight here on KIOW.com. Uh, Bulldogs have great support uh, throughout the year from uh, some of these great businesses here in Lake Mills. Looking over to the sidelines, waiting. Now it looks like they're ready to go. Receivers left and right. 
put Thorson in motion. Hand it off up the middle to Casey Hansen. He's going to stiff arm a player. Oh, almost got away. Nice stiff arm there on number nine, Cal Berkey. Uh, but Hansen, gain of four. Brings up second and six. He almost got loose there. Now call it five. We'll call it a gain of five there instead of four. Favorable spot. Brings up second and five. Berger under center has not attempted to pass yet. Haven't needed to. Here's the handoff up the middle to Hanson again. He's going to break outside, and he's going to be off to the races. It's going to be uh, one man to beat, and he's got him beat at the moment. Berkey trying to close it, but that's not going to be enough. 71-yard touchdown run for Casey Hanson, and the Bulldogs go up 20 to nothing here at uh, Bulldog Field. Touchdown run for Casey Hanson. Two plays and uh, another touchdown for Casey Hansen. He's having a big night already. 67 and 71 yard touchdown runs. 5.04 to go in the first quarter. Put in motion, flip it back out. Cutting all the way outside is uh, number 33, Brady Hansen. So Brady Hansen with the two point conversion makes it 22 to nothing. We'll be back with more in one minute on KIOW.com. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less then do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the Color Journeys experience at Single Set Hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Back here at uh, Bulldog Field. And uh, we are at 22 to nothing with 5.04 to go. Lake Mills so far has run five plays and has three touchdowns, 67, 71, and 41 yards as uh, they uh, have uh, been very efficient on offense thus far. Uh, this is that longer uh, sanitizing break. It's a two-minute break that happens at halfway between uh, uh, each quarter. And uh, Bulldogs leading 22 to nothing will finally come out of the huddle and will be just about ready to go here uh, with more uh, football. And now Garrigan will come out of their huddle as well. So we will be set to go for more football here from Lake Mills High School football field. Uh, this broadcast on KIOW.com. If you're looking for other action, we have plenty of action going on tonight on the KIOW uh, networks. Uh, Forest City at New Hampton. West Hancock hosting, or rather New Hampton at Forest City. West Hancock hosting Manson Northwest Webster. Uh, Clear Lake at Garner Hayfield Ventura, North Iowa, or Northwood Kensett at North Iowa. Here's a kickoff by Hermanson, taken again by uh, Kellen Murphy at the 15. Now he's going to cut across outside. Nice open field tackle there by Jack Raymaker. Nice job there uh, as Kellen Murphy was on the move. And uh, if he'd gotten past uh, Raymaker, he would have had some room to run down the sideline. So a nice job there 
by Jack Raymaker, the senior. Also an outstanding wrestler for these Bulldogs. Have a pretty good wrestling program going here under uh, Coach Alex Brandenburg as well. And you see the relationship between uh, success on the football field and success uh, on the wrestling mat as well. And the Bulldogs have a pretty good uh, boys basketball program right now too. So a lot of good things going on for Bulldog athletics right now. Here's uh, Murphy's going to keep the ball, go up the middle, fake the handoff, and he's going to go forward for about three. So Murphy has nine yards positive, 15 yards negative as they went back to pass a couple of times on that first drive and a couple of sacks by the Bulldogs uh, put them deep in a hole here. Uh, clock running 420 to play here in the first quarter. Twins each way here. In the backfield is number 28, Derek Kirsch. And Murphy tries to get out, and Bacon comes up and makes the tackle in the backfield for a loss on the play. Quarterback kept it that time. He's going to lose, called a yard. Nope, they're going to say gain, or loss of two makes up third and nine. Bulldogs playing stout defense right now. have given up one first down thus far. Snap it. Football, and now we've got a, I don't know if it's a false start or what. It came, the, the whistle came from the umpire, so it might have been a snap infraction. That's generally what the umpire will get. Yep. A snap infraction there on the, on the uh, center for Bishop Garrigan. Sean Davis just flinched a little bit too much. Brings up third down and 13. And uh, looks like they were going to be passing. You might think that they would be passing again as well. Shotgun formation, receivers each way. Snap the football, he fumbles it. Coming in, Hermanson's going to grab him, and he's going to pull him way back down. We'll see where they spot him. About the 19-yard line. So that's a loss of 16. Oof to Louie. They just have had a problem handling that shotgun snap. Well, they're going to put him on the 20, so they're going to say a loss of 15 on the play. And back deep for the Bulldogs this time is... Jack Raymaker. He's back there by himself. And punting here is going to be uh, Jacob Lear, I guess. Then here's the snap of the football. It'll come down, and Raymaker will make the catch and almost get tackled. He's going to get loose, and he's going to net. Uh, I would say he netted nothing there because he caught it right at the 49. They're going to spot him at the... 48, so he actually lost a yard. Um, brave catch there. He was attack, uh, had the, the first uh, player hit him almost immediately. So 2.39 to go here in the first quarter. Bulldogs with their fourth possession. They've run five plays thus far and have 22 points to show for it. See what the Bulldogs come up with here. Receivers left and right. Casey Hansen in the backfield behind Berger. Looks like Dalton Thorson and Brady Hansen, the two wing backs in this formation. Thorson goes in motion. Berger back to pass. He's going to throw it long and going down there. And he's going to be. And the flag's going to come in. Uh, it was tough. Tough play there. I don't think he would have completed it anyway. Uh, Kate Nobley going down the far sideline there. Looking to see who is playing defense there for uh, Bishop Garrigan. And uh, that was Austin Von Bank there on the, on the defense. Pass interference on the defense. So the play doesn't count, so the pass doesn't count. So we won't have to write that down. That's the first first down for Lake Mills. 
their longest drive before now was two two plays and uh, long touchdown runs. So uh, first down there for the Bulldogs via penalty, their first first down of the night. So calling out the plays now. Here's Dalton Thorson in motion, handed off to Hanson. He's going to be drugged down immediately. Uh, in there, big number 70 for the uh, Bulldogs. Joe Marin, the uh, senior defensive tackle, was able to get in there. This Bulldog offense has a tall test with this defensive line of Garrigan. Uh, Marin's 310, Busherfeld 280, Kale Kramer 290. So the nose guard and the two defensive tackles, uh, 280 plus, and just tough to run up the middle. They've had some success going to the outside, but uh, going up the middle has been uh, pretty tight sledding there for Casey Hansen so far. Snap the football, hand it off again. No, they pull it and pitch it. Nice cut back there. And going forward is Brady Hansen on the option, and he's only going to get oh, down to about the 35. So call it a gain of two going to bring up third and long. We're back under center now. Berger put Thorson in motion and now Everybody gets reset. We'll try it again. Pitch it out to Thorson this time. Nobody jumped across and nobody moved except for the back. So that's going to be a short gain, gain of about three to Dalton Thorson. But it's going to bring up fourth down. Can we bring fourth down and five here at the 32-yard line? Uh, Bulldogs do not have to snap the football as uh, the game clock is down to 20 seconds. Play clock is at 25 seconds. So the Bulldogs may just hang out as Raymaker's walking over to the sidelines already. The rest of the Bulldogs just kind of hanging out. So uh, great first quarter for the Bulldogs here as they lead after one period, 22 to nothing. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll come back with more here the with the, the uh, second quarter of action here coming up on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today, Buffalo Center, Lakota, Brent, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. Back here for the start of the second quarter. Bulldogs face a fourth and five at the Garrigan 32-yard line. See what... Uh, Coach Burns has in the uh, hat here, maybe a, a pass. Put Hanson in motion, he'll pitch it out to Brady Hanson. He's gonna cut back. He's gonna get uh, close to the first down yard, the yard line. And I think he's got it. They may measure this. Oh, they're not even gonna measure it. They're gonna give it to him. Brady Hanson with the carry for six yards and a first down. Well, what, now they're gonna measure it? 
So now they're going to, okay, I guess they're going to measure it now because the official already signaled first down. So they are going to measure it here, so we'll wait and see what they have to say. It uh, looked like he had a first down, but uh, we'll see wh exactly where the spot is. They bring the chains out, and it is a first down by the length of a football. <laughs> Bulldogs here uh, with a first and down and 10. It, the ball will be spotted at the 27, just inside the 27-yard line. 11.52 to go here in the opening half. Put the clock in motion. Bulldogs looking down at their play cards. The play call from Coach Brady Kurtz over here, calling the plays in. There's a snap of the football, handed off the middle to Hanson. Casey going up the middle, continuing to go. Nice job of pushing the pile there. Uh, a little help from his friends as well. Down to the 21 yard line. So Casey Hanson with another six yards on the carry. Brings up second. Well, they're going to push him back to the 22, so a gain of five. Bring up second and five. Ten fifty-five to play here in the opening half. Forest City leading New Hampton seven to nothing down in Forest City right now. Understand that some people are having problems getting on to KIW.com. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, Hanson goes around the left side, nice slips a tackle, and he's going to have first down yardage. Brady Hanson uh, with the uh, uh, carry, and that's going to be down to the 15. So a seven yard gain there for Brady Hanson, and a first down for the Bulldogs. First and uh, 10, ball spotted at the 15 yard line in uh, Garrigan territory. Bulldogs leading right now 22 to nothing. Put Hanson in motion, fakes the pitch out. He's gonna roll, he's gonna throw it to the end zone. Going back and it's gonna be caught for the touchdown. Nice juggling catch there in the end zone. Caden Obley, nice job there. Caden Obley with a 15 yard touchdown catch. Because he had it in his hands and it popped up, and as he was starting to fall, he gathered it in and fell to the ground. So nice job there by Caden Obley. So Bennett Berger completes his first pass of the night. They'll line up for the two-point conversion. 10.29 to go here. Nice job there for the Bulldogs, and it's 28 to nothing. Spinning out is Berger. He's going to cut it back up, and he's going to try and get in. And he's going to get in. So Bennett Berger calls his own number, and that makes it 30 to nothing. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with more here in just a moment on KIOW.com. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800-331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? mbtbank.bank, member FDIC. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paint and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas and the color journeys experience of single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. 
MBT Investment Center of Four City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Seth Hermanson ready to kick things off for the Bulldogs here as they lead now 30 to nothing with 10.29 to go here in the opening half. Hermanson's kick is away. It's going to be taken at about the 22-yard line. Coming up the middle and then off to the outside there. Outside the hash. Couldn't see. See who carried it for Garrigan. Looked like number 13 possibly. Aiden Hovey, sophomore tight end defensive end. That was a six play drive there by the Bulldogs. Brings up first and 10 for Garrigan at their own 35 yard line. Back in motion, back to pass, throwing it downfield for Angelo Winkle. Winkle is going to go in and oh, he just can't pull it in there. Looking to see who is on the coverage there. 22 for the Bulldogs. AJ Raymaker on the coverage. Oh, I guess I was wrong. It looked like 22 to me. AJ Raymaker, number 12, rather than 22 on the coverage there for the Bulldogs. Snap the football, hand it off up the middle, and still going. Nice job there. Finally, you pulled off the pile there, or pulled back. Looking to see who did that. Looks like Bacon there. Cal uh, Cal Berkey. Gain of five brings up third down and five. Snap the football, dropping back to pass. He's going to flip it out in the flat. It's going to be caught there. Looks like Winkle. Gain of 10 yards on the play. Brings up first and 10. Hand it off up the middle. Uh, that is Derek Kirsch. Gain of one by Kirsch. Brings up second and nine. Snap the football, dropping back to pass. Flips it out there, pass is incomplete. For Kirsch was out there. So now they'll come back with third and nine. Snap the football. Screen pass here, caught. And running downfield, nice play there for the Golden Bears. They're gonna go inside the 30. As Soon as everybody brushed in, you could see that was a screen. Catch there, was that Kirsch, I believe? Derek Kirsch on the catch. Line. 
from the 49 to the 29, so 20 yard reception on the screen pass. Golden Bears, now Murphy's pitches it out and a fumble on the play and it's gonna be picked up by nobody. And finally, it's gonna be picked up by the Bulldogs. Look like maybe Caleb Bacon. Another Jack Raymaker. So the Bulldogs will take over first and 10 after Garrigan's best drive of the game. Ends in a fumble. 8.36 to go here before the halftime break. Snap the football, Berger back to pass. He's gonna throw it out in the flat. That's gonna be caught by Brady Hansen. He's gonna get cut up field and he's gonna get another block. And he's gonna go down the sideline and he is gonna go all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Nice pick there. 30, 68, or 32, 68 yard pass play. And it looks like the Bulldogs are maybe going to try and kick it here. Uh, now that they lead 36 to nothing, the clock will run continuously after this happens. So they are going to go for the uh, uh, PAT. Berger now two for two with 83 yards passing and two touchdowns. And the pick PAT kick is good. Hermanson. PAT makes it 30. Seven to nothing, and as we said, the clock will start running continuously uh, with the kickoff. We'll take a break and come back with more in just a moment on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed, and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR, and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today in Buffalo Center, Lakota, Britt, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Back here at uh, Lake Mills, 37 to nothing. Seth uh, Hermanson to kick things off here. And he does back to about the 17 yard line there. Uh, picking up steam there is number 40. He's running, he's going across the 35 and now he's gonna get driven oh, across the 40. And about the 41 yard line there, number 40 for Bishop Garrigan was Isaiah Plath. He does have a kickoff return for a touchdown uh, this year. Garrigan will have it first and 10 at the 41. Cheerleaders for uh, Lake Mills starting to get a little tired here with these uh, jumping jacks. Clock running. Snap the football back. Flip it out into the flat and it's dropped out there. Looks like Kirsch, maybe the intended receiver there. Brings up second down and 10.
try and get some scores when we get to halftime. See if we can get some updates here. And now Garrigan's going to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. 6.59 to play before halftime. We'll be back with more on KIOW.com. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800 331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.Bank, member FDIC. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the Color Journeys experience at Single Set Hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Back here at uh, Lake Mills High School, a couple other scores to pass along. Forest City leading New Hampton 7-0 in the second quarter. West Hancock all over Manson, Northwest Webster 47-0 in the second quarter as well. Uh, back to pass is Murphy, and he's going to be snowed under by the Bulldogs. Murphy went back to pass, pulled down for a loss of five. Brings up third and 15. We'll try and get a couple other scores for you here before break. Uh, Osage looks like they're leading 14 to 7 in the second. Uh, Clear Lake leading GHV uh, 7 to 6 in the second there. See if we can get to score North Iowa. North Iowa leading Northwood Kens at 8 to 6. Back to pass, third and 15. It's going to be caught by Winkle. He's going to get loose, and he might go for a touchdown. Raymaker is trying to get to him, and Winkle is going to go all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. 65-yard uh, touchdown pass with 6.01 to play here. So Angelo Winkle with the 65-yard pass from um, from Kellen Murphy. They'll line up for the PAT now. They had that swinging gate play that snap it back. Now they're going to throw it back into the end zone. They're going to lob it up, and it's going to be caught. So no good, doesn't caught by the uh, Bulldogs there. And that was uh, Jack Raymaker as the receiver, intended receiver fell down. Makes it 37 to six, so the clock will stop running continuously. So we'll go back to regular timing here. But we're gonna take a break. We'll come back with more in one minute on KIOW.com.
Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800-331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. Back here at uh, Lake Mills High School. Here's the whistle, and we're going to have a penalty flag. And they're, nope, they're not going to throw it, but uh, picking up the ball there is Casey Hansen. He's going to cut up field. He's going to cut back into the pile, and he's going to get driven back. Looked like uh, at least one of the uh, Golden Bears was uh, offside on the kickoff, but uh, uh, we'll let uh, things continue to move on. Bulldogs will take over on their own 24 yard line. And there's the carry around the right side. Hansen goes in motion, pitch it out to Hansen. Brady cutting left. He's going to go along the sideline. He's going to get tackled right out there near the uh, first down marker. See where they spot him. It's just cl it's close, but I don't know if it's going to be a first down or not. Call a gain of six. See what they decide with that. And they are going to give him the first down, so let's change that to a gain of seven. And they'll have first and ten. In motion again is Hanson. They'll hand it up the middle to Casey Hanson this time. And uh, he's going to be dropped for a loss. See how big of a loss this is. Looks like a loss of about half a yard. We'll call it a yard. Brings up second down and 11. 4.20 to play here in the opening half. Bulldogs in the lead, 37 to six. Now pitch it out here to Casey Hansen. He's gonna cut up the field. No, that's a, not Casey Hansen, that's Dalton Thorson. My, my apologies. And Thorson, call it the 41 yard line. So a gain of seven, I think. Alberti on the tackle at the 41. It's going to make it third and about four. Okay, here we go with uh, third and four. As I said, the ball spotted at the 41 yard line. Thorson goes in motion. Quarterback Berger keeps it himself. He's not going to get much, maybe maybe a yard. Berger on the option. Brings up fourth and short. What will the Bulldogs do here? They got a big lead, but you'd think maybe they try and bury him deep. Clock running under three minutes to play here 
in the first half. They got 20 seconds to figure out what they're going to do here. Uh, Bulldogs are lined up like they're going to go for it. Garrigan fans across the way making some noise here for the first time. Will the Bulldogs try and draw him offside? Nope, snap the football. He's going to drop back to pass. He's going to throw it deep downfield and making the catch. Number 24 there. That's Kay Nobley. And he's going to go into the end zone for the touchdown. 2.25 to go here in the opening half. And the Bulldogs on fourth and two throw the 59 yard touchdown pass. 58 yard touchdown pass. Number well, they're going to say 58. We'll go with 58, so. See who they're, what they're gonna do here with the extra point. They are gonna try and kick it again. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. So Seth Hermanson with the extra point. With 2.25 to play, Bulldogs extend their lead to 44 to six. And we'll take a break and come back with more on KIOW.com in just a moment. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? mbtbank.bank, member FDIC. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the color journey's experience at single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color journey's your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. Back here at uh, Lake Mills, Hermanson ready to kick it off once again for the Bulldogs. Leading the Golden Bears of Bishop Garrigan 44 to 6 here uh, just before recess. And here's the kick. Come downfield taken by Murphy at about the 14 yard line. It's going to come upfield. Going to cut through, and he's still going. He's going to go across the 40 to a. Well, see where they spot him 40, 41 yard line, somewhere in there. And Golden Bears will be spotted at the 40 and a half yard line. So Garrigan will have the football here. Murphy will have him break the huddle. Splitting Austin Von Bank all the way out there. Two receivers split to the right side. I formation this time. They'll pitch it back to the back in the backfield. That's Cal Berkey, I think. And uh, Berkey is going to be brought down for a loss on the play. A uh, loss of three. I'll have stats at halftime, unofficial, of course. I'm not sure if I've got the right numbers or not, but uh, we're going to be pretty close. Give you a good idea of what's happened in halftime. And then we'll also get you some more scores uh, here. Uh, on the KIOW family of networks. We'll get you what we can at recess, which is 53 seconds away here. Four receivers split out here. Snap the football back. Murphy's going to be throwing. He goes across the middle. It's picked. No, it's taken by Winkle. Winkle's going to run away from everybody. Uh, he's trying to get down to the end, and he's going to go into the end zone for the touchdown. He got behind him. For a 
three yard touchdown. So the clock will stop with 37 seconds left. A lot of scoring in the first half. We're gonna have to go to the other side of the sheet at the rate we're going. Winkle, also an outstanding basketball player, the center on their basketball team, and they played for a state title uh, in Class 1A last year. 63-yard touchdown pass from Murphy. See if they what they do here. They'll kick the try and kick the extra point. Snap it back. Kick is up, and the kick is good. So 44 to 13 is our score. And that was Marin. So 44 to 13 is our score. And we'll take a break. We'll come back with more here on KIW.com in just a moment. MBT Investment Center of Four City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today in Buffalo Center, Lakota, Britt, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Back to kick is Marin. And the kick is going to be picked up right on the sidelines, going up the sidelines and tackled there. Was that Raymaker? A little hard to see over on the other side. It was Raymaker. So now 32 seconds to go here. Looks like the Bulldogs are going to take a knee and get us into the halftime break. There's the knee. There's the start the clock. That'll be the end of the uh, first half. 44 to 13 is the score. It's 44 to 13. And uh, we will come back. And uh, we'll come back with uh, some stuff at halftime here. Uh, scores, highlights. Uh, uh, some stats as well. I'll try and do some math here while we're going. So I want to thank our sponsors uh, For helping make this broadcast these broadcasts possible. So we'll be back with more here in just a couple minutes on KIOW.com Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills the number one storm door manufacturer in the US built right here in Lake Mills with local pride Good luck athletes from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800 331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.Bank, member FDIC. 
Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less. Then do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the Color Journeys experience of single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Lake Mills Drumline in action. We're going to give you a little taste of that before we get to our stats.
and that is the Lake Mills uh, drum line uh, putting some uh, uh, action for you there uh, here at halftime. Uh, let's take a look at the stats. Uh, first off for the Bulldogs, um, Bennett Berger, 2 of 2 passing for 83 yards and 2 touchdowns. Or rather, I'm sorry, I completely forgot about the third touchdown. Uh, Obley, uh, Caden Obley with a 58-yard touchdown catch. So there's 3 of 3 for Bennett Berger for 3 touchdowns. And now i got to do a little bit more math. 83, 91, 141. So he's 3 of 3 for 141 and three touchdowns. Rushing-wise, Casey Hansen has seven carries for 150 yards and two touchdowns. Um, Brady Hansen has six carries for 63 yards and a touchdown. Dalton Thorson, three carries for 27 yards. Uh, Bennett Berger has one carry for one yard. Other side of the ledger, um, not as much uh, going on rushing-wise for uh, Bishop Garrigan. Kellen Murphy, the leading carrier, He's carried the ball between uh, seven times, and he's got a negative 28 yards, so a negative four yards of carry. Of course, uh, some of those are sacks as well. Uh, Cal Berkey, uh, 10 yards on three carries. Derek Kirsch, five yards on three carries. Uh, Nate Bronk, two carries for zero net yards. But passing, uh, Cal Murphy, four of seven for 158 yards and a pair of touchdowns uh, to uh, Angelo Winkle. Winkle, three receptions for 138 yards and those two touchdowns. Derek Kirsch also uh, with a 20 yard catch. So let's run down the uh, scoring. Started off 20 or 33 seconds into the football game. Uh, Brady Hansen, a 41 yard touchdown run for the Bulldogs. Dalton Thorson, a two point conversion run, made it 8 to nothing. Uh, then with 9.07 to go in the first quarter, Casey Hansen, a 67 yard touchdown run. Uh, on the first play of the drive. Uh, Casey Hansen run was no good to make the score 14 to nothing. Uh, still in the first quarter, uh, Casey Hansen, a 71 yard touchdown run, uh, part of a two play 76 yard drive. Brady Hansen's two point conversion was good at 5.04 on the clock to make it 22 to nothing. Then we go on to the second quarter. It was Caden Obley on a 15 yard touchdown pass from Bennett Berger at 10.20 uh, to cap a six play 51 yard drive. Uh, Berger uh, ran it in and uh, made the score 30 to nothing. Uh, then a few minutes later, it was uh, Brady Hansen, a 68-yard touchdown pass from Berger, uh, and a Hermanson PAT made it 37 to nothing. Uh, then the uh, Golden Bears got on the board. Angelo Winkle, a 65-yard touchdown pass from Kellen Murphy. The PAT no good at 6.01 on the clock to make it 37 to six. Bulldogs got the clock running once again on a 58-yard touchdown pass on fourth down. Uh, Caden Obley from uh, Bennett Berger and uh, Hermanson PAT was good to make it 44 to six. And then 37 seconds to go in the first half. It was Angelo Winkle again, a 63 yard touchdown pass from Kellen Murphy. The PAT by Marin was good to make our halftime score of 44 to 13. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna come back. We'll have you some uh, scores from uh, other games around the area uh, coming up in just a couple minutes here on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today, Buffalo Center, Lakota, Brent, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. 
Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800 331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.Bank, member FDIC. Back here at... Uh Bulldog Stadium, 44 to 13 is our halftime score. Other scores around uh, North Iowa right now. Forest City still leading New Hampton, seven to nothing. West Hancock, West Hancock has extended its lead to 54 to nothing over Manson Northwest Webster. Osage leading Applington Parkersburg, 21 to seven. Clear Lake and GHV are knotted at 14, and Northwood Kensett leading North Iowa, 16 to eight. We'll try and get a couple of other scores uh, here before the. Uh, Second half uh, gets underway. We've got the mandatory three-minute warm-up period that they're using uh, right now. Um, take a look here. I think I know where to go to get the score of the Belmont, Clemmy, and uh, Clarion Goldfield Dow's game. If I can get it pulled up here. Bulldogs uh, had the football to start the uh, game, so they will uh, probably be kicking off to Bishop Garrigan here to start the uh, third quarter. See which way they're going to kick. That'll be the only real question. Looks like they'll probably be kicking away from the clock. Belmont Clemmy is leading uh, 21 to six at the half. And yeah, judgment of the referees are, yeah, we are gonna kick from the south end zone to the, or south to the north. So the Bulldogs will, don't have a lot of wind. Flag pretty limp here. Um, a little cool, but not terribly so. But uh, Bishop Garrigan will start the second half with the football. See what other scores we can, can get uh, here in the second half. Hermanson out there. Looks like he's just about ready to go. Get the Golden Bears out on the field as well. 44 to 13, our score here. Uh, getting ready to start the third quarter. Broadcast coming away on KIOW.com. Bulldogs can hold this lead. They'll take on most likely uh, South Winnesheek next week. That game will be over in Kalmar. Try and get that game for you. We know we've uh, broadcast from there in the past, and uh, uh, internet uh, capabilities there have been uh, uh, ishy, I think is the technical term, ishy, I-S-H-Y, ishy. So we will see uh, what we can do uh, with that to start uh, uh, coming up next Friday night. Murphy and Plath are deep. Here's the kickoff. It's going to be taken by, looks like Plath there. He's going to come to the left. And he's going to be drugged down from behind. Looking to see who that was. 66, 65, Elijah Wagner. 
Wagner on the tackle there. So Golden Bears will start at their own 27 yard line. Not a lot of success running the football, but they have had some success throwing the football as they've gotten both their touchdowns off a of long passes to Angelo Winkle who got behind the defense. Winkle split out here to the near side. Looks like he's going to be watched by Casey Hansen. It looks like he's about a whole foot shorter than Winkle. Part of the problem. Handed off up the middle. There is that Kirsch. Yep, that's Derek Kirsch on the carry. Gain of... Gain of three. Call it second and seven. Now uh, four receivers, two left, two right. Shotgun snap. He's able to pull it in this time. Here's the pass complete. No, incomplete. It looked like he had it. And as he turned, it come flying out of his hands. Uh, Berkey was the intended receiver there. Okay, brings up third and seven here. Winkle's going to be split over to the uh, far side. He's going to go in motion. He'll go across the middle. They are going to throw it to him. He's going to make the catch. And he's going to be brought down. And it looks like it's going to be enough for a first down. And it is going to be a gain up to the 32. A gain of eight. He needed seven. He got eight. Brings up first and 10. 11.06 to go here clock moving here in the third quarter. Handed off up the middle and still running there was Kirsch. Oh, I'm sorry, Bronk this time on the carry. He's going to gain about five. Broadcast coming away on KIOW.com. Here's snap the football, dropping back to pass. He's going to throw it way up in the air. He's got a receiver out there, and he just overthrew him. No one happened with the coverage there, but he got behind him, and if he could have made the connection to Berkey, he would have been gone. Brings up third and about six, five and a half maybe. Got to get to the 43-yard line for the first down. Snap the football back. He's going to step up and he's going to run for it. And he's going to get away from Bacon for a while. Bacon's trying to run him down. He's going to go out of bounds into Bulldog territory down to the 44-yard line. So an 18-yard gain there for Murphy. Kind of a quarterback run. He dropped back and then took off. Snap the football, throw it over to the side and going forward to about the 40 where he's going to get creamed. Uh, pass completed out there to Von Bank. Call it Second and five. Clock running, 9.45 to go here in the third quarter. Handed up the middle. Nope, the quarterback's going to keep it, and he's going to be drugged down. Nice read on the play there. And was that Helming? 
Is he? Oh, it was Wagner. Wagner 65, Helming 66. A little hard for these old eyes to see all the way across the field to that. Brings up third down and six as Murphy gets no gain on the keeper. Four down territory here for the Golden Bears as they are trailing by 31. Snap the football, dropping back to pass, and now he's gonna be almost taken down. Now he's gonna keep running, and he's gonna cut back the other way, and then he's gonna get smothered under. And spot him at the 46 yard line, so a loss of Loss of five. Loss brings up fourth. Oh, they're going to say seven. Loss of seven brings up fourth and 12. They got to get down to the 34 yard line. Looks like they're going to maybe go for it here. Clock running with 8.20 to go, and now they're going to call a timeout. So timeout taken by Bishop Garrigan here. We'll take it with them. Uh, 8.20 to play, 44 to 13, Lakeville's on top. Back with more in one minute on KIOW.com. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the color journeys experience of single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Back here, fourth and 12. Uh, two receivers here to the near side. One to the far side, that's Winkle. You gotta think that they're gonna try and lob it up to him. They're gonna pitch around the outside. He's gonna run back. He's gonna throw it downfield for Winkle. Gonna come up and he's gonna be intercepted. Oh, they're not gonna be intercepted. They're gonna say he was out of bounds. So that's gonna be better for the Bulldogs because they'll get it at the 46 instead of all the way back at like the 33. So it's incomplete pass. But the Bulldogs take over on downs. First and 10 Bulldogs will have their first uh, first uh, drive of the second half here. Updated score from Belmont. Belmont Clemmy uh, leading 28 to six now over Clarion Goldfield Dows. Tristan Yoder with a pick six, I guess, in the first half to help the scoring for the Broncos. Winner of that one gets to go to Southeast Valley next week. Snap the football, hand it off to Hanson. He'll go up the middle, and he'll get driven back. After a gain of about one. So Brady Hanson with the one yard run. Now, twin receivers out to the right side. Flip it out to 32 Dalton Thorson. He's going to go across, and he's going to come back over. He's going to get taken down inside the 36-yard line, but there is a flag. Legal shift. Legal shift. Well, I well he he signaled a legal shift, but I think it's actually a legal formation. But I think they're gonna ta they're gonna ta they're talking to him because they had I don't know if they had enough uh, guys on the line of scrimmage, so the officials are gonna talk about it a little bit. 
Nope. So they are going to stay with the legal shift, make it second down and 13. So now we'll try it again here. Hand it up the middle to Hansen, and he's going to drive across the 45 up near midfield before he gets spun back. They will. Uh, Brady with the carry. Called a gain of six. Brings up third and long. Bring him in motion, flip it all the way out here. Cutting inside and back outside, number 12 in the game. A.J. Raymaker running the football, and he's going to have enough for the first down. So gain of nine on the play there for A.J. Raymaker. Oh, 11, my bad. Math is hard. First and 10 Bulldogs at the uh, Garrigan 40 yard line. Clock will start at six and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. It will run as soon as the referee blows his whistle. Oh, nope, the ball went out of bounds, so I guess it'll start on the snap. Hand it off up the middle to uh, Hansen again. This time, not a lot doing. It's gonna be a short gain here. Call it gain of three there for Brady. Bring up second and seven. He's up on the 37 yard line. Second and seven. Look for the uh, call from the sidelines. Coach Kurtz. Hand it off up the middle again, Hansen. And again, he's going to be drugged back. May have gotten down to the 35. That'd make it third and about five. Gronk also involved in the tackle. Third and five. Golden Bear, 35 yard line. Berger under center again. Thorson in motion. He'll go out on the option and doesn't pitch it and gets pulled down there by Derek Kirsch. It's going to be a loss of four. It's going to bring out fourth and nine. Berger probably should have pitched that one, but kept it. Makes it fourth and nine. 4.45 to go here in the third quarter. Bulldogs still lead 44 to 13. See what they're going to do here on fourth and nine. Maybe try a pass. He'll pitch, fake the pitch out. He's gonna roll and he's gonna find his receiver. That's gonna be Brady Hanson. He's gonna go around another receiver. He's gonna go down the sidelines. He's gonna go into the end zone for a touchdown, Bulldogs. From the 39 yard line there. 38. Four passes, four touchdowns for Bennett Berger tonight. Uh, the clock stopped at 4.15 to go in the third quarter. Brady Hansen. They'll line up for the PAT. PAT kick is... Blocked? Question mark? It's no good. Um, 
58-13. Brings up, brings the score to 50 to 13. The clock will start running again with 4.15 to go here in the third quarter. We'll take a break and we'll come back with more from Lake Mills in just a minute on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today in Buffalo Center, Lakota, Britt, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. Back here at uh, Lake Mills, 50-13 to 13 the score. Some other scores to uh, pass along. Uh, Forest City still leading New Hampton 7-0 in the fourth quarter. West Hancock 54-8 over Manson Northwest Webster. Osage leading 27-7. Uh, Clear Lake 28. Garner Hayfield Ventura 14 in the fourth. Northwood Kensett North Iowa tied at 16. Uh, Belmont Columbia still leading 28-6. Here's the kickoff. Coming up the middle is... Murphy, oh, Murphy and he makes the catch or <laughs> rather gets tackled Tackle after he caught the the uh, kick and ran it up so the ball's gonna be spotted at about the 37 38 yard line we'll see where it's at looks like officially the 38 yard line Here's more back to pass, and it's knocked away. Oh, it looked like it was knocked away, but Winkle comes up with the catch. Nice catch there. Wow, I did not think he was going to catch that. Wow, nice catch there by Angelo Winkle. He's got great hands. Very good around the basket as a basketball center, but uh, yeah. Nice catch there, because it looked like the Bulldog defender had made the play. Caden Obley, maybe. Handed up the middle. Fullback is going to be hit down, Kirsch, after a gain of three. Brings up second and seven. 2.35 to go here in the third quarter. Winkle split out here wide to the near side, right on the end of the line there. Rolling out, now he's gonna run for it. He's gonna get out of bounds. Uh, Murphy out of bounds to the 29, so a 17 yard scramble. Clock running with a minute 50 to go here in the third quarter. Again, four receivers split out. Kirsch in the backfield. Handed off the middle to Kirsch. He's going to run off the uh, left side. Get tackled there by Bacon. Brings up second and about 
seven. Bulldogs leading 50 to 13. Garrigan trying to punch another one into the end zone. Two touchdown passes to Angela Winkle account for all of their scoring. He's here, split off here to the near side. Dropping back is Moore. He's going to look. He's going to look. Or not Moore, Murphy rather. Going down downfield. And it's going to be incomplete. Looking to see who that was out there. They're trying to hit. Pass downfield incomplete. Coverage by Brady Hansen. Brady Hansen. Third and seven. Number two on the there was Jack Granjanet. Uh, 120 pounds sophomore. Brings up third and seven. Again, Winkle split off here to the near side. Snap the football, dropping back to pass. He's going to take off and run again, and they're just not prepared for him. He's going to go down towards the 10, and then he's going to go across the 10 and get tackled there. Up the middle. About a 20-yard gain there. Either throw it up to Winkle or have a quarterback draw. Been the offense here for the Golden Bears. Now we have an injury. About the four-yard line. And the clock stopped with six seconds left here in the third quarter as uh, you have an injury on the field. So we're going to take a break. We'll come back with more here from uh, Lake Mills. Uh, Lake Mills leading Bishop Garrigan 50-13. to 13. Back with more in a moment on KIOW.com. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800-331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.Bank, member FDIC. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and a color journey's experience at single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. Austin Van Von Bank was the injured uh, Golden Bear. They will start the clock, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Uh, first and goal for the uh, Golden Bears at the nine yard line. So we'll keep it right here since we just uh, just went to a break there for the injury. Um, 18 yard scramble for first and goal for uh, the Golden Bears. Third quarter, only one score. It was uh, Brady Hansen, a 38-yard touchdown pass from Bennett Berger on fourth down. Made it 52-13. And uh, that's where we stand here. We'll take a look at uh, our scoreboard. And uh, Forest City still leading 7-0. It looks like New Hampton's got a long ways to go as they're down inside their own uh, five-yard line. West Hancock has finished it off, 54-8 over Manson, Northwest Webster. Osage still leading 27-7, and they are driving with the football in the fourth quarter. Clear Lake still leading Garner Hayfield Ventura, 28-14. Uh, the... Uh, Cardinals just taking over the football there. Uh, North Iowa now leading Northwood Kensett uh, 24 to 16 in the fourth quarter in Buffalo Center. Although Northwood Kensett just scored a touchdown, literally just scored a touchdown 
uh, there. So we're ready to go with the uh, fourth and final quarter here uh, from Lake Mills, 50 to 13, the Bulldogs in the lead. Golden Bears gonna try and punch one in here, get a little bit closer to start the fourth quarter. Three backs in the backfield for the Golden Bears. They'll hand it off to Kirsch. He's gonna go into the end zone for the touchdown. Clock stop at 11.54 to go. So Derek Kirsch with the first rushing touchdown for the Golden Bears. And see, they will go to the swinging gate formation, then they'll go to kick the extra point, try and make it a 30-point game. Joe Marin back to kick. Here's the snap. Kick is up. The kick is good. Fire the laser there. But um, Marin PAT good. And the score, 52 to 20. So we'll take a break. We'll come back with more here in just a moment on KIOW.com. MBT Investment Center of Four City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center. Your partners for financial success. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today, Buffalo Center, Lakota, Britt, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. And here's the kick. High and deep goes downfield. Picked up, and oh, big hit there. Looking to see who that was. 44 for the Bulldogs. Sean Davis, on the attack on the team. Sean Davis with the tackle. Antoine Jacks into the game for the first time for the Bulldogs on the return. New quarterback into the game is uh, Jack Raymaker. He's been in the game at receiver, but now he's playing the quarterback position. And a couple different people in motion at the snap. So uh, tackle made. We'll have a right. illegal shift. And Dalton Thorson on the carry. Looked like Thorson went in motion after the motion man had already gone in motion. So make it first and 15. Clock stopped with 11.40 to play in the game. Bacon out of the game, his hand, uh, right hand wrapped up, padded tightly. Snap the football and we'll hand it off up the middle. Antoine Jackson and we'll call it a no gain there for Antoine brings up second and 15 clock running with 11 15 to go here in the football game Raymaker gets under center. Put him in motion, hand it off up the middle again. No, Raymaker keeps it. He's going to run across the 30, and they'll spot him right at the 30. 
Gain of four on the play brings up third and long. Bulldogs will probably keep it on the ground here. Run as much time off the clock as possible. Uh, most of the Bulldogs now in different positions as some other uh, young men getting a chance to play here as the Bulldogs have this game in hand. Um, we'll see if we can't find a score before we go off uh, offline uh, of the South Winnesheek Nashua Plainfield game. And now we're going to have a timeout by the Bulldogs as they want to talk things over here. So we're going to take a break. We'll come back with more in one minute on KIOW.com. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800 331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. Back here for third down and 11. Raymaker under center. Put the back in motion, flip it out there. That's number 12. Uh, ja uh, A.J. Raymaker, I believe, and there's going to be a penalty flag on the play, unfortunately. We'll see who that, what that was all about. And they may decline the penalty, bring up fourth down, because I'm guessing it's probably a hold or something. They were blocking the back against the Bulldogs. Block in the back. See what the uh, Golden Bears decide to do with that. Clock stop with 10.06 to go here in the football game. They are going to decline it. Bulldogs will go ahead and punt this away. Seth Hermanson to punt. Clock running, 10 minutes to go. Here's the snap and the punt's a low line drive. It's gonna take a nice bounce. And then going out to the side there, oh, got away. That was 24, almost made the tackle there for the Bulldogs. Caden Obley, but just couldn't quite bring him down. Thorson knocks him out of bounds at the Ball's going to be spotted at the 36-yard line. Bring up first and 10. Snap the football and dropping back to pass is Murphy. He's going to throw it deep downfield for Winkle. And pass is incomplete.
bring up second down and 10. Get everybody lined up here. Winkle still out here to the uh, wide side. Hand it off up the middle to Kirsch. Kirsch is going to be spun down. Nice tackle there. Is that Elijah Wagner again? Brings up third. And seven. Clock running with 9.15 to go in the football game. Snap the football. He's going to run, and he looks at pitching it, and then doesn't. Now he's going to get loose. He's going to go back the other way, and he's going to go down the sidelines, and he's going to cut back in, and he's going to get swarmed under finally, but he's going to go inside the 30-yard line. They had him in the backfield, and he got loose. Gain of 28 on the play. First and 10, Golden Bears at the Bulldog 28. Belmont Clemmy just scored. 35 to six now the score there in the fourth quarter for the Broncos. Looks like they'll take a date, a return date with Southeast Valley next week down in, I believe they play in Gowrie. Here's the snap, handed off to Kirsch. She's gonna go into the secondary, almost drugged down, and he's gonna finally be brought down inside the five at the four yard line. 25 yard run there by Kirsch. Now 42 to six, Belmont Clemmy in the fourth. So a lot of our area teams having a good show of it here in the opening round of the playoffs. Golden Bears with first and goal. Snap the football, hand it off to number nine. He's gonna be drugged down. Uh, that is Berkey. Right by and Bacon. It's gonna be no gain on the play. No gain on the play, second goal with the four. Now we'll split the receiver out here to the near side. Three backs in the backfield again with Murphy. He's gonna try and go with the quarterback sneak and he'll be in for the touchdown. Touchdown from four yards out. Kellen Murphy with the Bishop Garrigan touchdown. Marin for the PAT. Seven thirteen to play here in the football game. Snap, kick is up, and the kick is good. Fifty to twenty-six. Garrigan creeping back into this one as it's fifty to twenty-six. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more uh, in one minute on KIOW.com. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.Bank, member FDIC. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the Color Journeys experience at Single Set Hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. 
on campus or online. Find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Four City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Back here at Lake Mills, 50-27 to 27 the score. Two straight touchdowns by the Golden Bears. And uh, things starting to get a little bit interesting around here. It's Lake Mills has been playing uh, some of their reserves the last couple of drives. Looks like they've got the hands team in here now just in case they're going to have uh, a long kick when they're going to kick it deep. That kick's going to roll into the end zone for a touchback. So a touchback. Bulldogs will take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Bulldogs led by as many as 37 a couple of different times in this game. Had a running clock twice in the second quarter. And once in the third quarter, but it's 50 to 27. Bulldogs with the football. Raymaker hands it off up the middle. No, he keeps it himself. He's gonna go into the secondary and he's gonna go 50, 40, still coming 30. He goes past the back judge. 20, 10, touchdown, Bulldogs. Jack Raymaker right up the middle with an 80 yard touchdown run. Fake the handoff and went. And they're gonna go kick the extra point, wow. Just like that, the Bulldogs respond with seven minutes to go on the clock. Uh, I'm run, running out of room to write these things down here. Jack Raymaker with the quarterback keeper. He's got permission to accept the point after hold by Jack Raymaker. And now will get things lined up. Kick is up and no good, wide left. 56 to 26 is the score. Uh, we'll take a break, we'll come back with more in one minute on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today, Buffalo Center, Lakota, Britt, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck athletes from DuraClean by Doug. Back here at Lake Mills, 56 to 27. And uh, here's the kickoff. Up slightly. Picking it up, looks like is number 40, Isaiah Plath. He's going to go across the 35 and get tackled down about the 37-yard line. Uh, a couple other scores pass along. This one now final for a city, defeating uh, New Hampton 7 to nothing. Uh, West Hancock over uh, Manson Northwest Webster 54 to 8. Osage leading 33 to 7 over Applington Parkersburg. Uh, Clear Lake all over Garner Hayfield Ventura 35 to 14. Interesting ball game going on in Buffalo Center right now. A uh, 30 all tie between North Iowa and Northwood Kensett with 3.13 to play in the football game. Ready to go here. Shotgun formation, twins left and right for the Golden Bears. Snap it back to Murphy. 
He'll pass, pitch it out into the flat to Kirsch for, oh, it's Bronk rather, not Kirsch. Nate Bronk with the catch. For five yards. Brings up second and five. North Iowa just scored and made the two-point conversion to make it 38 to 30. Snap the football, hand it off, up the middle to Kirsch. And he's gonna be brought down after a gain of about three. Brings up third and two. Sorry, Bronk on the carry for three. Winkle splits out wide here to the near side. He's going to be double teamed by Abilie and 22 Isaiah Burgo. And now this time running it after a, a fumble. And that's going to be a loss of about three yard on the play. Brings up fourth and about four. Clock running, 5.15 to go here in the football game. Fourth down. And four. Now they're gonna split everybody out here to the far side. They're gonna throw it over there to number nine. He cuts in, that was, if he'd gone outside, I think he'd have been all right. But Brady Hansen sniffed it out. So the pass was completed, but a loss of one to to Cal Berkey. And it's Bulldog football here at the Garrigan 42 yard line. Raymaker under center again, snap the football, hand it off up the middle. No, he keeps it. He's gonna go around the end. He's gonna get chopped down after a gain of about four. Nice job keeping it on the option there. So Raymaker. And the clock running with 20 seconds to go. Ready to snap the football. Put him in motion, nope, they'll hand it off the middle. Nope, pitches outside, this is Dalton Thorson. He gets a block, he's gonna go across the 30. He's gonna go inside the 20 yard line. He's gonna be brought down almost to the 10. About the 12 yard line is where they're gonna spot him at. So from the 37 to the 12, 25 yards there by Dalton Thorson. Brings up first and 10 from the 12. Or maybe they're gonna spot him closer to the 11. Ball's between the 12 and the 11. So we'll call it a gain of 25 for funsies. Clock running, 4.10 to go here in the football game. Pitch to the outside. Going into the end zone for the touchdown is A.J. Raymaker, 11-yard touchdown run there. A.J. Raymaker on the pitch. Hermanson for the PAT. Hermanson, 
BAT is good. Makes it 62 to 27. So 35 point running clock will start again with the kickoff. We're gonna take a break. We'll come back with more in one minute here on KIOW.com. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800 800- 331-1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? MBTBank.bank, member FDIC. Back here at uh, Lake Mills, 6227, the Bulldogs with a pair of touchdowns of their own here in the fourth quarter from the Raymaker boys. And they will kick off once again uh, with a 35 point lead and the clock will start to run once they catch the, uh, catch the kick. Here it is downfield, clock will run. And that's uh, Isaiah Plath going across the 35 and the 40. He's gonna cut in, he's keep still going, still going, still going. He's gonna be tackled down near the 25 yard line. Hermanson, the kicker, saved the touchdown there. Clock will run, it's under three and a half minutes to go here. A lot of subs in there for the Bulldogs now who we got in there, I'll try and get you some numbers. 62 I see in there. Uh, Charles Jackson, a 5'595 five, pound senior. Hand it off up the middle. Let's see who's got that. Bacon in there on the stop. Kirsch for the carry, gain of three. Brings up second and seven o'clock, two and a half minutes to go here in the football game. Handed off the middle again to Kirsch. He's gonna be brought down again after a gain down to the 20 yard line. It's gonna bring up third and six. Oh, sorry, third and four. Clock at two minutes. Kellen Murphy under center. Snap the football, handed off up the middle. No, he keeps it. And he's gonna be drugged down after a short gain. He's gonna bring up fourth down. Brings up fourth and one. Minute and a half to go here. Ball spotted at the 17 yard line. Bulldogs gonna move to five and three and move on to take on the winner of Nashville Plainfield and South Winnesheek. Do not have a score on that as yet. Running another play player on here with the play for the Golden Bears. Clock running down close to a minute to go here in the football game. Winkle will split out here to the near side. Quarterback sneak up the middle, still going. Murphy will get the gain. Down to the 11 yard line, gain of six. Charles Jackson with the tackle there. Oh, call it seven. Golden Bears have 40 seconds to try and score this. Maybe a couple of shots at it. This would be the first win by the Bulldogs over the Golden Bears. Uh, 
This, I believe, is the eighth meeting between these two schools. Moore will go back. He's going to throw it out into the flat. It's going to be caught into the end zone for the touchdown. 17 seconds left. Angelo Winkle, 10 yard touchdown pass. See what they do here. They'll kick, try and kick the extra point. PAT is good. Make it 62 34 with 17 seconds left. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more in one minute on KIOW.com. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paints and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the Color Journeys experience of single set hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. We're back, Antoine Jackson with the short return, and then he goes ahead and takes a knee. They probably will take one more knee. See if we can find a score on that South Winnesheek uh, National Plainfield game before we uh, uh, wrap things up here. Get that for you. There's Jack Raymaker taking the knee, and that's the ball game. 63 to 34. Uh, your Lake Mills Bulldogs advancing to the second round of the Class A playoffs. Uh, take on the winner of Nashville Plainfield and South Winnesheek. Uh, we'll take a break and wrap things up here in just a couple minutes on KIOW.com. Get new internet or upgrade your internet speed and it's free for 30 days. Premium Wi-Fi is included. Sign up for Cloud DVR and it's free for three months. Contact us to get started. WCTA, we are your local communications cooperative. Farmers Trust and Savings Bank, your hometown community bank, offering expertise in ag and commercial lending with digital banking products to fit all of your financial needs. Contact us today in Buffalo Center, Lakota, Britt, Lake Mills, and Bryceland. Member FDIC. Larson Manufacturing of Lake Mills, the number one storm door manufacturer in the U.S., built right here in Lake Mills with local pride. Good luck, athletes, from Larson Manufacturing in Lake Mills. DuraClean by Doug of Lake Mills, your full-service home and office care specialist for deep cleaning of carpet, upholstery and drapes, air duct cleaning, sanitizing, and allergy and asthma relief. It's not clean unless it's DuraClean. Good luck, athletes, from DuraClean by Doug. Kirschbaum Electrical, Plumbing, and Heating of Lake Mills. When your home or business needs electrical, plumbing, heating, or cooling repairs, contact Dan Kirschbaum. You'll receive great service, an experienced technician, and reasonable rates. Give Dan a call at 641-592-8831. FCIS Insurance is proud to support our local athletes throughout the year. Let FCIS be your partner, not just your agent, helping you with all your insurance needs. With multiple carriers, we can get you the best coverage for the best price. Call us today at 800 331 1520. Good luck, Indians, from FCIS Insurance. 
MBT Bank in Forest City, Clear Lake, Lake Mills, and Rochester, proudly serving our customers for 75 years. We've got all your financial needs covered from loans, CDs, savings, and more. Where will you go with MBT? mbtbank.bank, member FDIC. Single set hardware of Lake Mills. If you've got just the right paint color in mind, don't settle for anything less than do it best quality paint and Pratt and Lambert. Your home is your canvas, and the Color Journeys experience at Single Set Hardware has all the tools you need to make your vision come to life. Color Journeys, your destination for inspiration. Waldorf University in Forest City. With scholarships available up to full tuition, athletics, fine arts, and over 35 clubs and organizations, you'll have the opportunity to find your passion while getting a world-class education. On campus or online, find support from a community that makes you feel at home. Find out more today at waldorf.edu. MBT Investment Center of Forest City, located at MBT. Whether it's completing your 401k rollover, saving for your child's education, or investing for the future, see Matt Jennings, Troy Hall, or Anita Willard at the MBT Investment Center. Call 585-IRAs. MBT Investment Center, your partners for financial success. Back here at uh, Bulldog Field, 63-34, the final. Uh, Lake Mills moving on to next Friday night's game. Uh, I believe it's going to be South Winnesheek, but I have not gotten 100% confirmation on that. But uh, Bulldogs will be playing next week in the second round of the playoffs. Let's uh, wrap up things for uh, Bishop Garrigan. That ends up their season at 2-6. and six. They were led by Kel Murphy, 19 carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown. He was also 10 of 18, passing for 195 yards and three touchdowns. All three of those touchdowns to Angelo Winkle of 65, 63, and 10 yards. Um, Derek Kirsch had 10 carries for 48 yards for the Golden Bears as well. Nate Bronk, 4 for 8. Cal Berkey, 4 for 10. For your Bulldogs, very efficient night for Bennett Berger. Four uh, passes, four touchdowns, uh, four completions, 199 yards. He had uh, touchdown passes to Brady Hanson of 68 and 38 yards and uh, passes to Caden Obley of 15 and 58 yards uh, in the air. Uh, on the ground, Casey Hansen did all his damage in the first half, seven carries for 150 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Um, Brady Hansen had uh, nine carries for 79 yards, or 75 yards, rather, and a uh, touchdown. Uh, Jack Raymaker had three carries for 89 yards and a touchdown. Um, A.J. Raymaker, two carries, 22 yards, and a touchdown uh, for him as well. Dalton Thorson, four carries, 52 yards. So uh, overall team effort here from the Bulldogs of Lake Mills, who they win uh, by a final score of 63-34. Want to thank uh, uh, Stephen Brandenburg for running the camera for me tonight. I want to thank everybody for listening and watching here on KIOW.com. Once again, your final score from Bulldog Stadium, Lake Mills 63, Bishop Garrigan 34. For KIOW.com Sports, this is Carl Waldring saying good night. <laughs>